Well, Secretary McGinn, welcome. It's a pleasure to have you here with us today at the Naval Memorial. Thank you, Phyllis. It's great to be here. I want to ask you just generally, why is it important for the Department of Defense to pursue advanced energy technologies, clean energy? What, what makes it important for DOD? Two key things. War fighting effectiveness and operational efficiency. We are doing this to make sure that our soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines are ready, combat ready, in, in the most flexible of ways with having a diverse portfolio of energy for both electricity and transportation, as well as being able to, through energy conservation, extend their time on, on station, extend their range, increase their payload capability. This is just the beginning of what we are going to be calling a revolution or the next revolution in energy use by our national security establishment. Well, and, and tell me specifically about the Navy and your efforts, because I know the approach of each of the service branches is slightly different. The uh, Navy program starts with energy conservation. We want to squeeze as much mission capability as we possibly can out of every kilo kilowatt hour of electricity or every gallon of liquid fuel that we possibly can. So for both shore uh, installations, as we call them, and at sea, whether it's uh, on the uh, surface of the water, above it in, uh, in airplanes and helicopters, on land with our combat, non-combat vehicles for our Marine Corps, we want to make sure that we are being as efficient as possible in order to make the mission more effective. Tell me a little bit about microgrids because, um, as you know, the Department of Defense is home to over 50 percent of the advanced microgrid projects right. here in the United States. So why is that such a technology that you're focused on? What microgrids allow us to do is to know how much electricity is being generated from what sources on that microgrid and what loads are being put on that to use that electricity so that you can balance the best choices, you can get the best value, least cost from your energy choices and you can also manage your load. For example, if you lost uh, utility power coming into your microgrid, you could rely more on your uh, own base generated power. Smart technology. Smart technology. It's, as I've heard it described, uh, megawatts meets, meets uh, megabytes. Oh, there you go. Well, you, you just mentioned cost, and obviously this is a time of tight budgetary constraints, particularly for the Pentagon. And so how is the Department of Defense and the Navy really leveraging these kind of new financing models with partnerships with the private right. sector? Is that, a, is that a way to kind of relieve some of the financial burden that DOD might experience? It certainly is. And it really at the heart of it is energy efficiency. By able, being able to get more mission capability, more mission support out of every unit of, of uh, energy that we use, we really, really save money, at, but not at the expense of the mission. So if we have our goals, we want to be 50 percent uh, uh, or less fossil fuel by 2020 in the Department of the Navy. We're not going to get there quickly enough if we simply go through the planning, programming, budgeting, execution system. We, are, uh, we have budgeted uh, a lot of dollars to help achieve better energy efficiency and better diversity of our energy portfolio. But we want to work with the private sector and we want to use every mechanism that we are allowed to by law to leverage third party financing to do public private partnerships. So not only do you avoid having to pay the upfront costs of this uh, sophisticated technology, but you reap the rewards. Exactly. And we reap the rewards long after uh, the, the bill is paid, if you will, for the capital expenditure. We continue to enjoy uh, more mission for, for less uh, electricity. Well, now, one gigawatt, one gigawatt, I should say. Um, are you going to get there by 2025? I'm sure we will. Uh, we're actually, uh, if one gigawatt is one way of saying if we get a gigawatt of clean energy by 2020 we're going to be able to meet our goal of 50 percent uh, or less uh, fossil fuel by that time frame. Well thank you Secretary McGinn. I think we'll close there. Thank you.